th th there's some building for next year as well in this squad and we all know that there is with the recruitment and that sort of those sorts of decisions we think they're going to be better again next year um but yeah i i'm going to go catalan i'm going to go with them by one point though a drop goal victory Okay, yeah, I've said four points. So now on to the qualifiers, round four. That, so another game that's on Sky Saturday, 3.15 kickoff, Salford against Toronto. Who are you saying My for this one? will also tell you, Toronto are always on TV. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I can't argue with her. She's, you know, when she's right, she's right. Uh, I'm going Salford in this one. I just think they're playing, they're playing too much good stuff. Toronto... Um, as good as they are are not quite Super League level yet I, I, I don't think I, I think they will be ready in time next year if they go up um, I'm certain of that to be competitive in the division above but I don't think this year is the year uh, I, sorry I don't think this game is the game where they're going to show that because Salford are just playing fantastically well and Salford um, always get a, a really good support in terms of noise and passion from the shed uh, their home games and I hope they're rewarded with another Jackson Hastings masterclass I'm going 36 points to 20 in favour of the Red Devils what about you what do you think I've said Toronto of uh, 10 points so we, we finally disagreed on something um, I just think I think Toronto will uh, will have enough here and I think I can't see that um, Salford will um, will do um, will do it all the time so oh gosh what's going on I've, oh Facebook's firing up sorry uh -huh. Um, you're so popular. That's all you wanted to do. You wanted to make everyone know that you're popular. It's only your mum liking your comments. <laughs> to be fair, my mum is too busy watching uh, another another um, podcast, rugby league media provider. As I as I checked in earlier, and I, I had a quick look in for ten minutes while I was uh, doing stuff. Um, it, it popped up. Uh, Liz Griffiths is also watching. So uh, thanks, mum. If you're listening this far, which you won't be. She should be listening to us. She should be prioritising us. I suppose we weren't on at the same time as other rugby league outlets. But yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think Toronto, um, with their, their squad they've got available, I, I, I just feel Salford are due an off game because they've been doing well for, for you know that period. So I, I think they're going to drop one at some point and I think yeah. this could be the one. Fair enough. Right, we've got a run of Sunday 3pm fixtures now. The first one of those is your Hulkingston Rovers. They host bottom side Halifax. And I don't see it going any other way than a relatively comfortable Hull KR win. So I've got I've, I've written down 40 points to 12 here. Um, what do you think? Uh, I've gone KR by 16, I think. Yeah, they, they do well. I think um, that the, the strength that we brought in um, ahead, of the, the ahead of the deadline is what's going to tip us over um, generally. And I think this this one's only going one way. I think. Yeah, if anyone's pleased with Derek Beaumont pulling out, it's 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 yeah, all kinds of yeah. right now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, London versus Toulouse. This one could be pivotal. It's very interesting. What do you think's going to happen? I'm saying Toulouse by twenty. Toulouse um, by twenty. I think that. Yeah, I think they because the thing is when they get on on a roll, they do get and they have kind of had a, a bit of a hoodoo over London recently but London drew at Toulouse didn't they in the final meeting mm. this season the, the crucial meeting this season um, that kind of got London the extra home game this would be their extra home game and I think London will win I've, I think it's going to be high scoring I wish it was on TV 34 points to 32 is what I'm going uh, I think we'll if we if we would have got to have seen it, we would have seen classic rocks and diamonds out of out of Kieran Dixon in this one. I think it's absolutely set up for that. But I feel like both sides are better with the ball than without the ball, and that's why I'm going for that 34-32 in favour of the London Broncos. So we're different on that one as well. Finally, Witness versus Leeds. Leeds don't have a fantastic record on the plastic pitch. When they have one there, it's been for arguably through luck more than judgment. Um, do you think that that continues or do you think that Witness are just so shite that it's only going one way? Um, I think Witness are in a in a place they're not coming out of very soon. I think Leeds by 20. Yeah, I very similar. I've gone Leeds by 18. So um, 
back to the earlier form of the predictions there. OK, into the Championship Shield. Game of the week, as it's always going to do in the Championship Shield, will involve the Swinton Lions. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Lee Centurions hosting the Swinton Lions this week. I, I'm going to go for Swinton because there's, there's something messed up with Lee now. So maybe Swinton can take advantage of that. That's what I'm That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm wanting to happen. Uh, um, I'm flipping the other way and saying that Lee will somehow find some something in themselves to, to get over this. But if they can't beat 14 men, what chance have they got against 17? Um, well, I assume Swinton bother with bother with 14, 17. They might we'll decide sure that 14's all they need. We'll make sure they've got enough lads. League One game of the week, Whitehaven versus Hunslet. Um, this is crucial because if Whitehaven don't win this one... You, it, it means that they're going to be really looking like they're not going to make even the modified version of the of the playoff structure. Um, so I think it's essential for Whitehaven to win this one. I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the home advantage and say they will win this one. What do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm saying home home advantage again on this one. I think they've got they've got you know decent side, and uh, Hunslet I just think are a little bit below them at the moment. What's the R League um, game this week in that division? Ooh, that's a very good question. I... I've got a feeling it could be this one. Well, hopefully, because last week they they picked our <laughs> they picked the game that we picked out. Um... Uh, York York versus Oldham. Ah, which is was the other contender for for this position because obviously Oldham are, are riding pretty high as well um, it finishes off with North Wales versus Doncaster in round 20 oh no sorry then there's one more in round 26 to be confirmed as of yet uh, but that's a good initiative so get behind that on Sunday it's 3pm kick off this one on Sunday the 9th of September um, ok NRL finals week one all these games will be on Sky Sports I think on the Arena channel um, but check your check your Sky plans or uh, if if you've got access to that, Storm versus Rabbitohs Friday at, at 10:50 a.m. Pan, that, that's the second chance game. Who, whoever wins um, goes yeah. go, moves forward. Whoever loses gets a second chance. Panthers versus Warriors so Saturday at 8:40 a.m. That's the first of the um, do or dies. Roosters versus Sharks Saturday at 10:50 a.m. And then Broncos versus the Dragons at 7:10 on Sunday. That is the other uh, you know loser goes home game so that will be interesting with England's coach versus at least one England player potentially two if Gareth Widdop gets himself back on the field um, but he is, he is an old fella now with that grey hair it's, it's yeah. hard to get it's hard to overcome injuries when you're, when you're as old as, as he is the now skunk yeah do you have any inclination any particular way where do you think it's going the the NRL title this year I've, I've got a horrible feeling we could end up with a an East for East versus Storm um, final, and yeah, it's um, that'd suck. And it's which disease would you like, sir? Yeah, that'd suck. I have a weird, I have a sneaky feeling that one of the bottom four sides will go through. I think the Dragons are in too awful a run of form; they won't be them. I don't have faith in the Broncos this year. Um, There's just so too I, much going on around I, them, isn't there? I think the winners out of that Panthers Warriors game. I think they're in a shout of being a, in in the, in the grand final. Um, and it would be hilarious if it was that... Panthers. Just Sorry? for the, it would be hilarious if it was the Panthers because of all the coaching, coaching shenanigans. Yeah, exactly. But I do think that that one of those two might be able to to sneak through. Um, so so it'll be in, interesting to see. And I'm hoping it's the Rabbitohs because of the the three English players for no no other reason really. Um, in that way okay so we'll see how that all wraps up as the finals begin and uh, and progress throughout the month of September um, that is next week looked forward to I've only got a quick quiz for you that's coming up now Tim um, as we move into the wrap up of the show Okay, SLP quiz time, uh, and for this uh, for this wrap up of episode 197, 197, so close to episode 200. Um, 
London RL players quiz I've got for you, Tim, to celebrate your uh, London and yeah. South East representative promotion, uh, as it were, to be head coach. I've got questions about three London players in terms of London Rugby League background. They would qualify to play in your origin team uh, effectively is, is where I'm going. Yeah, Sim similar to in this month's um, Rugby League World. They've done they've done town team for London. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I've not read I've not read all of that magazine yet so far this month. So that's uh, interesting to see. I didn't get to the quiz. Did they have a quiz? Did they? Not? Oh no, no, not a quiz. You said a town team, right? Okay. Well, and that, then you've got a list of names in front of you. I've I've tried to make them well, quite it's easy. Over the, it's over the other side of the room. So uh, there we go. Yes, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm going getting it. You won't need to cheat. I've tried to make them quite easy here. Um, I've only got three for As easy as Sean Long last week. <laughs> well, Sean Long was only easy for non-St. Helens fans, it turned out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Alan. Uh, but London-born winger... Right, so London-born winger who signed a new deal with the Championship Club this week. Kieran Dixon. Excellent. One out of one. You could have given it a bit more dramatic. Could, I could have given that one, yeah. Okay. Centre, who scored two tries in the Super League Super 8s this weekend, who started his career when London were Harlequins. Um, oh, how many Two tries this weekend. Uh, how many did Dan Sargentson, did he score this weekend? Dan Sargentson? Dan Sargentson is correct. Okay, uh, finally, Essex-born Scotland international that turns 23 this week. Essex born Scotland International um, Walker yeah because it's so easy this quiz this week I need first names as well Tim Alex Walker <laughs> Alex Walker is is correct three for three excellent performance okay SLP recommends um, I'm going to use it as a platform to support one of my very good friends who's launched their new business this week Uh which is called Alchemy Accountancy. So it's a, a, a Northwest based, but kind of with some digital led solutions. Cloud accountancy, I think, is what my friend Craig specializes in. Um, those sorts he, he of things. He counts clouds. He's a cloud yeah. counter. Means it's nation. Means there's a nationwide potential as as well. If you if you need an accountancy, hit up Alchemy Accountancy. Google them. They'll come out kind of top on the search, particularly if you're based in the Northwest. And uh, and yeah get on board help my mate out if you need accountancy services there you go that's all I've got what about you Tim what I've tea recommendation two. oh I've oh, oh, alright I'll throw in a throw in a tea as well <laughs> um, so actually I'm going for I don't know if you've seen but Twinings have launched their own cold brew uh, range now so uh, you can no. and there's a very nice there's a very nice uh, green green tea coconut um, cold brew and it's just five minutes you just shove it in a, a water bottle uh, give it five minutes, flip it upside down, and uh, it's ready to drink. So it's nice and easy. So I've uh, I've had it in my flask at work a couple of times. And it's a lot less mess and faff than using the big cold brewer. So uh, I do do use those. Um, the one I was go going to go for was uh, a place I went on Thursday night for a leave and do. It's called the Tuppany okay. uh, up in Swindon. Uh, it's very it's a new new um, well refurbished. Uh, place there and they had the uh, modern thing I don't know if you've seen it in a couple of places there's certainly one in Cardiff I've been to where they've uh, made the toilets out of uh, old kegs oh no so I, I've seen they, I've seen some like weird kind of like plastic things that aren't really toilets that people have started using as toilets in some places and stuff like that so I've seen quirkier toilets being developed but yeah tell me about these keg pissers so they they are exactly what they basically they've cut uh, it's a urinal and they've cut um all but the kind of it's sort of they cut a, a T out of it effectively yeah and and then bolted that to the wall and plumbed it in and they had some fancy flames as well uh, it's all it's all a bit sort of slightly steampunkish around the place as well oh right okay which is quite fun uh, the bar because it's obviously it's called the Tuppany the bar was uh, made a layer out uh, they had a layer of two pennies so uh, that made up the bar uh, they had quite good uh, very good beer selection including um, they served in thirds as well as uh, pints 
so you yeah. can buy a two thirds or a third if you if you I've, wanted. I've noticed so. that schooners are becoming a more popular way of serving beers, um, and I quite I quite like a two thirds. It's sort of it's something I, can, I find more drinkable. I'm moving that way myself. I'm not. I don't drink as much.